In this short video, I'm going to show you a simple method to determine whether three points are collinear or not collinear. So let's start by looking at what collinear actually means. So if points are collinear, that simply means that you can draw a line that goes through all three of the points. If three points are not collinear, it means that you just simply cannot draw a line that goes through all three points. You might be able to draw a line that goes through some of the points, but not all of them. In fact, you'll always be able to draw a line that goes through two of the points, but you might not be able to hit that third point with a straight line. And that means that they're not collinear. So let's look at a worked example that we're going to use to understand this method I'm going to present. So we're going to determine if these three points are collinear or not collinear. So the first step is we need to find the gradient of a line through two of those points. So I'm going to choose the first two points. And for now, I'm going to ignore the third point. Ultimately, I want to get the equation of the line through the first two points. But the first thing I need to do is find the gradient. And to find the gradient, I use the gradient formula. M stands for our gradient. And the gradient is simply the difference in our y values divided by the difference in the x values of the two points. So the first point, 1, 2, I'm going to call point 1. And then 2, 4, I'm going to call point 2. So I'm going to label the x and y of each of these. So we're going to have x1 is our point 1's x coordinate. And then y1 is the y coordinate of our first point. And then likewise, we're going to have x2 and y2. What I would do is then substitute all of those numbers into the equation which would give me this calculation. And then what I need to do is evaluate that, and simply that will give you m equals 2. So we now know that the gradient of a line that passes through the first two points would be 2. We can then move on and find the equation of the line through the first two points. So a line can be written as y equals mx plus c, where m is the gradient, and c is what's called the y-intercept, where that line would hit the y-axis. We know that m equals 2 because we just calculated that. We now need to find c. The simplest way to do that is to take our first point, 1, 2. So 1 is going to be our x value, and 2 is going to be the y value. We replace y with 2, replace x with 1, and the gradient is, of course, going to be 2. So we've got the gradient of 2, so y equals 2x plus c. Replace our x and y values like I just described. So I've replaced y with 2, the x with 1, and you can see visually that 2 equals, well, 2 times 1 is 2. 2 plus what gives 2? Well, that's simply telling you that c is going to have to be 0. So we take the intercept c equals 0. So if we look back at the original equation, y equals mx plus c, with m equals 2 and c equals 0, that tells us that the equation of the line going through the first two points is y equals 2x. The next thing we need to do is test our third point against that equation. So We've got our points and we've got our equation, y equals 2x. The third point is 3, 5, and we're asking the question, is 3, 5 on this line or is it not on this line? If it's not on the line, then it's not going to be um, collinear. If it is on the line, that tells us that that point is collinear. All three points would be on the same line. So let's substitute for x and y. So our y value is going to be 5 and our x value is 3. So I've replaced y with 5, replaced x with 3. Multiply that, so we've got 2 times 3 is 6, so we get the bizarre result that 5 equals 6. And of course, 5 does not equal 6, so this is rubbish. So therefore, we can conclude that this is not collinear, that all three points are not on the same line. And so whenever you substitute in your third value and get a ridiculous result, that tells you it's not collinear. If, however, we had a slightly different example, so we've got 3, 6 instead of 3, 5. We could try the same test. So y equals 2x. We substitute in the values. Again, 2 times 3 is 6. So we get 6 equals 6, which makes perfect sense. Therefore, we can say it's collinear. So if you get a sen sensible result from your third point, it's collinear. If you get a ridiculous result, then it is not collinear. So I hope this video was helpful to you and this method was nice and easy to follow. If it was, please like and subscribe below. And finally, thank you very much for watching.